What's up guys? It's Cameron here, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn those post notifications on so that you don't miss an upload. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a desk slash vanity tour and a makeup collection kind of in one. I decided to do this video because I was really happy with the way my makeup collection was looking and the way I had everything organized. It's not fully where I want it to be yet. I definitely want to get more things to help me stay more organized. But for now, this is going to do. I'm going back to school soon, so I'm bringing all this makeup with me to school, which I actually already packed it all today. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. My room is literally filled with bags right now. Without further ado, I'm just going to hop right on into the video. I really hope that you all enjoy it, and let's get started. Okay, guys, so this desk right here, I got at Ikea. It was like $50. So we're just going to talk about the top real quick. Normally when I'm doing my makeup, I'm always using that mat over there. I put it out. Actually, I'll show you guys it. This I also got at Ikea. It was really cheap. And um, don't put your flat iron on it like an idiot like I did because that happens. But that's the only reason I don't really leave it out is because it looks really ugly. So on top of the desk over here, or this is my vanity because I made this whole desk into a vanity. So we're going to call it a vanity. Um, is this little, you can see me, sorry. This little makeup mirror right here. And I think I got this at Harmon. It's really nice. It lights up. It has this switch down here. So I'll show you guys. And it just has the light right there, and it's really cute. My mirror right here, I kind of made myself. So I got this mirror at Home Depot, and my brother actually just screwed it into the wall. And then I got these ball lights on Amazon, and they are really, really good lighting. And they just light up for when I do my makeup. So the one thing I'm not crazy about with the whole mirror is the wires. You know, from far away, they don't look that bad from up close. I feel like they do. It just does not look pretty. So I got the idea from my friend to put like um, some type of border around it. Like you could use like a thick ribbon or something like that from Michael's or any craft store and just like hot glue it all around to cover the wires. So I definitely want to try that. I didn't get to do it over this break, but I'll probably do it at some point. And that's kind of how I did my whole vanity. So before I go into the drawers over there, I'm just going to show you guys what I have in this drawer. This drawer is not the neatest. It's kind of just random stuff in here. So we're just going to open it up and show you guys what's in here. So first I have this little organizer right here. And in here I just keep my hair ties. I have one of these guys. This is actually supposed to go in this one. Then I have um, my bobby pin container, which I poured out and just have like bobby pin. Um, these little mini hair ties for braiding. These hair ties that I use a lot, the no crease ones. Then right in this one, I have just some like nail stuff, nail clippers, um, hang nail clipper things, uh, cuticle oil, some safety pins. Then back here, I just have my earring solution, baby lotion, nail polish remover, which I have Q-tips in here, but I'm almost out. And then over here, I just have a few hand sanitizers, some hand soap Brittany got me for Christmas that I'm going to bring back to my apartment. This bag right here has like all like pads, tampons, liners. And then back here, this is just like a hand mirror, my inhalers, cough drops, my whitening strips, some gum. These are some papers my dermatologist gave me. This little gel tin that Brittany got me for Christmas. It's like you open it and it just smells really good. Another black opium because I have an extra one. This one is the high intensity one. I love black opium. It's my favorite perfume. But that is it for this drawer, so I'm going to close that up. And then I'll just show you guys down here real quick. This is my little garbage and then the wires. I actually just put this power strip down here because I actually only had that thing right there for a while. But my dad and my brother put this power strip because when I'm straightening my hair or blow drying my hair, I always was struggling to find outlets and I would have to like unplug my TV or unplug my mirror lights. And it was just a lot of work. And actually my skincare fridge is plugged into there too, which I'm going to show you guys my skincare fridge in this video. Then we're going to head over here, and I'm kind of showing you guys everything. This is more of like a desk tour makeup collection combined because a lot of it is like hair care and skincare as well. So I have this box right here, and it has a ton of makeup fingerprints on it and stuff, so just ignore that. But I got a box like this because I felt like I needed more room for like my hair products because they're a lot chunkier and bigger, and they don't really fit in those drawers too well. So on this side, I just have all of my headbands. If you know me, you know I wear headbands a lot, whether it be to do my makeup, which you guys can tell, or just to, you know, wear out or wear to the gym. Some scrunchies. I only have like two. Then like I just have all my gels and curl creams and leave-in conditioners and uh, set, what is that called? 
water uh, heat protectant all that kind of stuff okay so now for the drawers as you guys can tell I just cleaned it the other day because there's fingerprints on it like makeup ones and it got dirty again and I didn't notice until right now and it's just impossible to keep this clean I'm just gonna show you guys what's on top first so I have this little makeup organizer I don't remember where I got this probably on Amazon this is like my everyday makeup so I'm just gonna show you guys some things that I have so this is just an eyebrow pencil that I got in one of my ipsy bags I have an eyeliner this is the stuff that I use for my eyebrows every day. I have my Anastasia eyebrow pencil. I don't even, I mean eyebrow brush. I don't even know what it is. And then this concealer brush. Then in here I have an eyelash curler. I have my Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder. I have my Amrezy highlighter, which is my go-to highlighter. And my Anastasia bronzer. This is my go-to like for bronzer and contour. Then over here, I'll show you guys the foundations that I usually reach for. This is the L'Oreal Infallible. I just bought a new one, Pro Glow. And then back here, I have two Maybelline Fit Me ones. And then I have my Maybelline Fit Me foundation stick, which I use for cream contour. And then heading over here, we have my 24-hour brow setter from Benefit Cosmetics. My Maybelline Fit Me concealer, which I love. I just purchased this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I have two lip glosses, the NK ones I just get at the beauty supply store, an e.l.f. lip gloss. These lip glosses right here I got in one of my Ipsy bags. They're the brand Jules Smith. And they're they're nice lip glosses, but I don't really like pink lip glosses. I like clear gloss. So I have this Rimmel London Scandal Eyes Mascara, which I love. I have a um, Thrift Cosmetics, is that Thrive Cosmetics mascara that I got in Ipsy bag. And then I have this, another one I got in Ipsy, is the Douce Punk Volumizer Mascara. So I really like that. So moving on to these little drawers. So in here I just have my eyebrow powder that I use all the time. I have my pair of lashes that I just opened. These are ones that I'm going to reuse a few times and then throw out so they just keep them right in here. I have my Duo Lash Glue. I actually got a new Duo Lash Glue which is one that dries in 5 seconds and it's clear but it's in my purse. I have some tweezers, some scissors, like eyelash applicator. So then in this one, this stuff I don't really use every day, but I just needed a spot for it. So these are just some mascaras. I got this black liner. It's from the brand Il Masqua. I don't know if I said that right. And the NYX The Curve Eyeliner, Maybelline Eye Studio. And then this drawer right here, this I got is as a gift from Sephora for my points. It's an Anastasia eye primer. I have this NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. I have a Morphe Eyelid Primer. Then I have the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So I have this blush. It's a Lancome, Lancome blush. I can't talk. And then the bottom drawer down here. I struggle to open these drawers. Okay. We have my Benefit Cheek and Lip Tint. This is pretty good. I use this when I'm trying to do more like dewy looks. And I'm using all cream products or liquid products. This is an amazing palette. It's a Madison Miller palette. As you could tell, this white palette got filthy from me doing my makeup. So we have this right here, and it comes with two highlight shades and a blush shade. And that blush shade in the middle there is my go-to blush shade. I love, love, love it. And I got all this stuff in my Ipsy bag. Like, I got this in my Ipsy bag, too. I got this CT Dewy Stick, and this is like a highlight stick. I sometimes put this on before doing my foundation, sometimes even after, and I'll just use a beauty blender. It's pretty good. It gives me a nice, very natural highlight. And sometimes I'll even put it on when I'm wearing no makeup. I think it looks really good. Here I have this Blistex. You guys already know about this. Blistex is the way to go. I got this from Sephora too with my points. It's just a NARS blush. And you guys already know about NARS Orgasm. It is amazing. So I got this and I love it. And those sample sizes really go a long way. On this little eyelash tray right here, I just keep my deodorant, secret one, and then this is Victoria's Secret body spray. I don't really wear body sprays, but sometimes I like to wear them when I go to sleep. I don't know why, but I won't wear them during a day. I'll always wear like a regular perfume because it lasts longer. And then right here, I just have all of my go-to makeup brushes that I'm using often that I can just grab easily. So I have this Morphe one, which is my highlighting brush. I'll just kind of point out some, this for blush. I have like foundation, Real Techniques foundation blush. This is from Ulta, this blush brush. Real Techniques, Real Techniques foundation brush, an e.l.f. foundation brush. Real Techniques Highlight Brush, Real Techniques Contour, I use that for my nose contour. This is a Morphe brush, it's the E4 for contour, I use it. 
I use this for more of like a bronzer brush. It's the R3 Morphe brush. This is from, I think, and it says an Amazon brush. I just use this to wipe off my setting powder. And then this is my Morphe e R2 powder brush. We're going to head on into these drawers down here. So our first drawer is where I keep all of my extra brushes. I don't have organizers in these yet, but eventually I plan on getting them. So these are all of my other brushes that I would use for like eyeshadow or other face brushes that I'd use for like different products. They're not really my go-to, so they just kind of sit in this drawer. I definitely would like to get, like, a long or organizer to put them all in. I have two, like, extra beauty blenders back here, a Morphe one and a Sony Kashuk one that I haven't been using. I have all of my sprays. I have my rose water spray by Grace and Stella. I got that in a Fab Fit Fun box. My Evian water spray. I barely use that. Sometimes I'll use it to wet my beauty blenders. Um, we have my Urban Decay 24-hour, all Urban Decay all-nighter setting spray. Two Morphe continuous setting mists which are my favorite. I have my go-to primer which is the Pure Lease Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. I have a Pixie Glow Mist. We have my Real Techniques Beauty Blender which I've been using for powder. Another Real Techniques one which I usually use for powder. I haven't used these for foundation. And then I've been using my regular Beauty Blender. This is one of the new ones where they change colors when you wet them, which now that I've used it so much, you can't even see when it changes colors. So the second drawer here is kind of a bunch of random things. I try to keep it as organized as possible, but I haven't got like set drawers for set things. So I just kind of threw this in here because I didn't know where to put it. So these are just, I needed some more face razors. I don't ever use the razor in the middle. I just always use the ones on the side for my dermaplaning. I'll start right over here. I have a pair of lashes. These are my favorite lashes. They're from Kiss, and I never could remember what they were called, and I bought them at a beauty supply store a long time ago, and I could not find the same one, so I've worn this pair of lashes like over 20 times, and they're still in good condition, but I think I found the pair of lashes at CVS the other day, finally, but I did not buy them yet because... I didn't want to yet because I wanted to try our Del Wispies again. So then we just have a Huda Beauty pair, which I really don't like. I've tried to use them like four times and they just can't. It does not work for me. Then over here, I just have a Cabral from Benefit. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag or something. It's not really my shade, but another Cabral, which I got in my Bomb Ass Brows by Dessie Perkins box, and I have not used this yet. I have in a Maybelline Age Rewind 24 Hour, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And then this I got in an Ipsy bag. It is the Laritzi Liquid Beam Highlighter. Then I just have a Smashbox photo, photo Finish Primer. And I feel like I can still get stuff out of this, which is why I refuse to throw it away. Then going over here, I just have some Ardell Wispies. I just bought this pack. I have my Milani Foundation and Concealer 2-in-1. I have a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's more like my summer shade. Two Maybelline Fit Me Foundations. This one is 120 has a little bit left in it so I kept it and then this one is a Maybelline oh this is a Maybelline fit me this is Maybelline 24 hour foundation I have a benefit hula bronzer I have Laura Geller gilded honey highlight which is an amazing amazing highlighter I have one of the Anastasia loose highlights grace got me this love 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 it. it's in the shade Vegas a wet n wild highlighter which if you guys have not tried wet n wild highlighters and you're trying to be a baddie on a budget I really recommend this I have a Fit Me powder, and this is a darker shade because I'll use it for contour bronzer. I have my Desi and Katie Frigo highlighter. I have a pomade from Anastasia, which I haven't used in a while, so it's probably dried out. And then down there, I think I have showed this on my channel before, but it's a Huda Beauty highlighter palette that I got in an Ipsy bag, and I freaking love it. Then I have here my Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop, which this has cracked so many times. It is shattered right now. I didn't even know. It's Becca Champagne Pop, if you guys don't know, is a really, really good highlight shade, but it is known for cracking. I have met so many, like countless people who have had this highlighter and it's cracked, and a lot of people fix it. I fixed it probably like four times, and I just always fix it because I really like the highlight shade, but um, yeah, I've known way too many people who've had it cracked, so hopefully Becca has fixed their problem. I have an e.l.f. pressed powder, my Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter. Then I have the Gigi Gorgeous bronzing, I think it's like a duo. So I got this in an Ipsy bag as well, I've not used it yet. And as you guys can tell, Ipsy bags really come in clutch. Um, then I have a Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder, which is almost empty. Then back here are all of my setting powders. So I have the Ben Nye setting powder. Then I have one of my favorite setting powders back here is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. Then I have a Ciotee 
loose setting powder, which I got in an Ipsy bag. And then I have two of my Cody Airspun ones, which are amazing. This one still has a little bit left, and I feel like I could still get stuff out of it, so... Alright guys, so moving on to the third drawer. This is where I keep all of my palettes. So we have the Anastasia Soft Glam. We have the Anastasia Carly Bible, which I want to do a video on because I love this palette. And just so you guys know, I don't wear eyeshadow a lot. I just have an obsession with buying eyeshadow palettes, specifically Anastasia ones. This is the Modern Renaissance Anastasia one. I'm not going to open them all up. Obviously, if you guys want to see... Um, at least these ones because they're in the boxes. So some of them I might open. But if you guys want to see, obviously you can just look it up. This is one I just got in an Ipsy bag. It's a Huda Beauty um, palette. And it just has these shades. And it's just so, so beautiful. Mattes. And then we have one glitter. This palette right here is from Tarte. And I got it from a friend. It's I'm pretty sure it was just released or it's unreleased because um, my friend has a connection. So... And in here we just have all these pretty shades. I love this one right here, the love one. I feel like it could be a great highlight shade. This one right here I've showed in a video before I got it in an Ipsy bag. And it's just this Nomad palette and it's called Berlin Underground. We have the famous Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Then we have the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, which I got years and years and years ago, and I still barely use it. This I got years ago, too. It's one of the Anastasia Glow Kits. This is the one with the six in it. Remember when Glow Kits were, like, so popping, and now nobody buys Glow Kits? I feel like everybody gets, like, individual highlights. I'll show you guys. Look at that. I never got the four Glow Kits. I always just had this one. This right here is an Anastasia Sultry palette, and I love this then we have the naked three and honestly i don't use this at all but it's just so hard to get rid of because it's so many memories inside this palette because i used to use that religiously this is the tarte manager man i don't man eater i don't even know how i'm saying that right palette this is a Too faced natural eyes palette which i've had these for years too probably since like sophomore year of high school we have a nyx glitter eye glitter Two eye glitters that I just got from some random brand from Cheer. I used to use these. I have a NYX liquid eye glitter. And then this is just a Clinique eyeshadow palette. Nothing special. And I just could not throw out my box from my Bomb Ass Brows by Desi. I had to keep it because she just looks stunning in it. And the box is so, so cute. And then this is just the Morphe 350S palette. It's the Shimmers. This was my first Morphe palette. Alright guys, I have to speed through this. And here we have some more stuff. I have an extra Neutrogena makeup removing wipes in there. We have some lip gloss lipsticks right here. They're all from, I think, Lancome. One of them is a black lipstick for Halloween, that one right there. Or for, um, it's not even a black lipstick. I think it's eye black. Yeah, it's eye black. And here I have all of my lip colors. I'm not really going to go through it. Some, um, mascaras and eyeliners in here might, there might be thrown in here. I don't know. But I just have some random ones. There's like Clinique and Lancome, which my mom always gets for free, so she gives me. I have a Tarte Lips Lip Gloss, I think, here. I haven't used yet. An Anastasia one down there. NYX. Two NYX ones. A NYX, um... I have a NYX lip pencil from Cheer in high school. Bare Minerals lip gloss. Kind of just a bunch of things. I'm not really going to go through this because I barely even use this stuff. So I feel like I don't even know. This is from one of my Ipsy bags. So, so pretty. And then back there I have three Vaselines. I don't know why I have three. One is like the mini to-go one. One's a big cocoa butter. And then one is like the CVS brand. I have all of my stuff to clean my makeup brushes. We have two Bath & Body Works. I have a lotion and a body wash lotion and body wash into the night smells so good i have these makeup erasers and i have yet to use them but i've heard they're really good so i'm gonna try them out i'll let you guys know how i like those okay the next drawer here we have a bunch of just random things first i have sunscreen and um tanning oil in here i have my wax strips which i use in my video with my brother and sister i have just some random like lotions and stuff uh face washes my whitening toothpaste skin creams lush bath bomb kind of random this drawer is messy so i'm not even gonna really go through it and then in here we have again some random things i have my spin prefer for perfect skin brush i have my Bure uh witch hazel strips some face masks that i got in an ipsy bag my an extra brush head for my vanity planet brush some face masks castor oil castor oils back there vitamin e oil coconut oil dove soap foot mask more face masks shower gel from lush random stuff so. and this is my skincare fridge this is brand new it's the brand kululi i got it for 49 dollars on amazon i'll link it down below it is amazing 
So when you open it on the side here, I just kept a few things. So I have these eye masks that I got. I don't know where I got them. I have two eye creams. This one I've been using so, so much. It's the Noria one. My Ipsy bags keep sending me eye creams and I have so many. So I need to tell them to give me something different maybe. I have not used this Pure Lease one yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be great because their brand is amazing. We have a Neutri two Neutrogena gel cream hydro boost things. A Clinique... Uh, eye gel. Um, I have this setting spray which I got in an Ips. I got in FabFitFun I think. Kula SPF one and it's just, I thought it just looked like it meant to be in the fridge. I don't know why. Then I have this Tarte Mermaid Serum in here and I put this in the fridge because I use this before makeup as a primer and it's an HT2O serum. A hi Hyaluron, I don't know how to say that. Anyways, moving on. I have my Laneige lip mask in here, my lip sleeping mask. I have this watermelon mask that I think Ida got me for my birthday. It's a fresh made watermelon mask. I have a mask of Magnum and Tea from Lush, which I love. This one, it doesn't have to be refrigerated, but I did it anyways. I have, of course, how could you have a, a skincare fridge without a jade roller? Love my jade roller. And then I have my Mirabadescu spray in here, which I just started using again. My Aptu Healing Mask. I have my Paracone MD Brightening Serum of Vitamin C Drops. And then just two sheet masks back there. Nothing. Also, guys, I have much more skincare in my bathroom, which I'm not really going to go through because it's basically just like face washes and stuff and like nothing exciting also guys i use my top dresser drawer just to put some hair products in so i have like my hairspray my water spray bottle hair brushes this is for like buns and stuff um my blow dryer i have my straightener some sunglasses curler all that fun stuff. Alright guys, so that is it for my desk vanity tour slash makeup collection. I really hope that you all enjoyed watching it. Hope this gave you guys some tips on how to stay organized and how you want to organize your vanity, desk, makeup setup, any type of thing. I really enjoyed filming this video. I love, love, love doing like organization and stuff. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely comment that down below. But that is all for this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.